exactly how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be in Hey, how's it going everybody? We're here in old downtown Vegas. We're testing T-Mobile millimeter wave and I will do some tests here. I'm right next node, as you can see, and it's band N260, 39 gigahertz, uh, 50 megahertz worth of bandwidth. And let's do a test here on this node. All right, we're about to start this test right here. All right, All right we're about to start this test right here. This is on N260, 50 megahertz, T-Mobile millimeter wave. And these are the speeds that we are getting with T-Mobile's millimeter wave. As you can see right here, guys. Let me pull. Up, let me pull up the service mode. Band N260, 50 megahertz of bandwidth on millimeter wave, and we are getting 4.85 megabits. And I think the speed test just crashed. Here, I will try to restart it just because I did go into the service mode. Okay, so we got 5.72 on the download. And let's see what we get on the up here, guys. We're getting 1.87. Hey, 187. And then 19 ping, 54 jitter, 1.7% data loss. Now let's compare this to AT&T 5GE on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. As you know, as you guys know, this is fake 5G. This is just LTE advanced. So we got a 41 ping, 12 jitter. We did a 157 down. And let's see what the up is gonna end up being at. And we are finishing at 20 up. And this is right here on a Tuesday night. Nobody around downtown. We are still under the the order of the of the bug. As you can see, nobody's around. Maybe that's that one person, but it's actually just dead here. For this node, there should be no reason it should be pulling four or five megabit speeds. But we will move on to the next one and do the next test, guys. It's 10:20 p.m. There's an LAA node right here for T-Mobile. It is connected to band 2, 15 megahertz, 2 band 46 aggregated, 20 a piece, so that's 40, and band 66, 20 megahertz. So we're looking at 20, 40, 60, 75 megahertz of spectrum. Let's do a speed test on this and let's see what this baby can crank. At least maybe this might make up for the crappy millimeter wave we just experienced. Okay, we're getting 25 ping, 10 jitter. And we are looking at speeds of 156 megabits per second. We are looking at 26.8 megabits on the up. And right now there's barely 75 megahertz of spectrum. There's barely a few cars or anything that pass by. It is 1022 or yeah, 1022 in the afternoon Pacific Standard Time here in downtown Vegas. We're gonna do one more test just to, just to see if maybe that might help the conclusion. Okay, now I guess now we got we, we got 10 megahertz of the of the band uh, 71. Now we have 18 ping, 550 jitter.
the test is still at 0, 0.00 megabits per second. And I think the test, oh, there we go, it's finally going up. And we are connected to the same spectrum, guys, 75 megahertz. Oh, speed test failed. Here, let's try to see if we can get another, see if we can do it one more time. If not, we will move to our next millimeter wave location. 15 ping, 11 jitter. So we're running on 75 megahertz of spectrum plus 10 megahertz of NR. So we're looking at 85 megahertz of spectrum right here. Fourteen point one on the download. And we had another failed test. Alright guys, I will bring you when we get to the millimeter wave node. Right, guys, now we're here on the corner Stewart and Las Vegas Boulevard. And then here's another 5G millimeter wave node. And we are going to walk this way so we can stay within a line of sight. And at the same time, we can get our RSRP down to negative 80. So when I get there, I will continue the video and we will do a speed test. Okay, guys, just to show you right here, we are N260, 50 megahertz bandwidth. RSRP about between 85 to 90, which is optimal. And the node is over in the corner. So let's test her out. Okay, we are getting ready to load a speed test right here. Okay, 18 ping, 24 jitter. Fifteen point one down, and let's see what it finishes on the up. Thirteen point six on the upload, so fifteen point one down, thirteen point six up, and of course, barely any traffic here, and I doubt anybody has a, a S twenty Ultra. To, and using it right now on millimeter when there's nobody around here so we will go to the next node and do another one all right guys we're back here's another node we are connected to another and to 60 50 megahertz negative 89 rsrp which is optimal for millimeter wave as an rf engineer told me so let's test her out Okay, 24 ping, 25 jitter, 21.1 down, twenty two point eight up. We're going to do one more test. We're going to retest it just to make sure. We are on the corner of 3rd and Bridgard. 27 ping, 16 jitter. 19.9 down. 18 even on the up so I guess we lost some speed as we did a retest all right I will try to find another node and we will continue this video after shortly after guys we're here on the strip right around the strip by the Flamingo Hotel and Casino um, we're connected to millimeter wave 
and 260 50 megahertz of bandwidth all right let's test her out real quick we'll do a couple of tests compared to old downtown So we're pulling 18 and 22 on the jitter. 309 down, 30, 32.8 up. Let's do another test. All right, so we got 15 pink, 35 jitter, 314 down, 32 point, 33.2 on the up. All right, guys, and this comes to the conclusion about the millimeter wave with T-Mobile. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it's a hit or miss with this millimeter wave. It's, it's a mess. I don't know what they're doing. I, I really don't know, but... What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section down below. Um, I did change my Twitter handle, so the updated Twitter handle link will be in the description down below. Uh, same with my PayPal link. And I, I just got a Discord started too, so I'll put the invitation down below. You guys can join. We have a lot of fun there. You know, you can clown, you can do whatever you want. It don't matter. All right then, guys, have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.